Hello, so let's try a zombie game with cards, and this is probably one of the games that combines genres in a way that I like it a lot. Also, remember to turn off the film shader and the depth of field because it just makes the game more ugly, and probably you will see that from the trailers as well, because they'll be playing with the film shader on. Violence, okay. Stay home and lock the doors. Whoa, okay, camera, stop. Kitty. Here's later. Well, I hope the kitty is alright. Hey, the kitty was alright. It is over there. Oh, we're looking at a long game. So Kitty comes with us. So we just have to leave home and find food and water, okay? I don't care if it's low quality, it's food. Water, okay, 5 kilograms of iron. Okay, that's a flashlight from what I can see. Hmm. Not access the inventory just yet. We cannot fight off the monster with our bare hands with pose either, we have to find some weapons. X16 accuracy critical chance. Uh, I would like for my weapons to have more stats than that, but I guess it's okay. They call. Yeah. I like games where I have very good inventory choices. Now this already looks like it's kind of a browser game, I don't know. It kind of looks like the armor games what they had in the days, back in the day. Yeah, this is what I wanted to see. We have, we have a pistol shot, but we don't have a pistol. Oh well, I guess I cannot be too upset about that. And status, so you equip this to get bonus stats. That's how I believe it works. We have the cards, we have attack, defense, skill. This thing attributes and skills unarmed. So I guess it will get better as you. I don't know. This is only the demo, so that's why I'm not really too fast about the game as it is right now. If he says keep out, we'll have to keep out. I'll just assume if it's not. Yeah, that's not an interactable item. Make sure Ninja is safe. Ninja is very safe. I guess we have to fight them. That's a lot of decorations for simple loading screen. Now the art style is a bit weird, I don't like it. I think it should have been a little more natural looking than this. It looks so weird, like it, uh, like someone took a paintbrush and added colors on top of an existing model, but hey. Out of ammo, oh okay, so we have... I guess that's a good balancing method, you need ammo. 70 HP, it will attack me for 10 damage.
by the carnival, we have three action points. So gets we have 12 valve more now, 50%. So does that mean we get to keep the armor at the next turn as well? Doesn't seem like you can keep the armor for the next turn. Quick punch! We missed. Quick kick. <laughs> but we have... Eh, yeah, whatever. Punch, dragon punch. Falcon punch. Yeah, I think armor should be a little better explained. We have one protection. Means we'll always have one armor at least. Toughness. What is toughness? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not really that complicated from what I can see. Apply one wall to yourself. Okay. Kick the zombie. In the kneecaps. Got a look big kit. Oh, book of wisdom. And the baseball bat, which apparently can be upgraded. Sure, I like that. The weapons don't seem to have durability, so I'll assume you can keep them and use them as much as you like. equip them like that. Also assume your health doesn't heal automatically after the fight. Yeah, exactly. Man, this game is much better than I thought. This is exactly what I wanted to play. A card game with mechanic like this, an overall mechanic. Whoa. That seems like it's a bad area. Okay, so we need to collect the items so we can have a camper going. Hmm, cooking pot. <laughs> Delicious, we can make goulash now. Money. BZ money. BZ mo okay. Easy money. So does this mean we'll be on the map and then we can leave the map when we want? The camp is ready. Yeah, exactly what I wanted. So we have a camp. Oh, ninja is over here. We need to have a friend for ninja. Usually I can like... This is what most people get wrong in my opinion. If you have a cat, you should probably get another cat. Because if a cat it has no other cat friends, it will kind of feel alone and bored most of the time until you get home or you have time to play with it. So definitely always have two cats. Sanity. Hunger first and fuel. So that's sanity, that's first food and fuel, okay. Supplies are over here. So we do have some supplies. Oh, so you have to fill up the slots with the food you need and have. Okay. Yeah, probably this mechanics will be better explained when the game is fully released in two weeks. Oh no, I think it will be an early access release. Oh well, we'll have to see. Actually, let me check that, because I can check that fast right now, and the game will be released in early access. I don't think it will be that bad, it's already pretty good. Now, sadly, apparently we'll have to use a lot of fuel to travel from now on. So we need to rest, and we need to use healing items, okay. Now we will be driving the caravan like this. 
me if you see the bad guys. A distinctive and original fusion of our genres. That's what I like. The problem with games today is that they only try to be a one-trick pony, and that usually fails because if you have a game that has very good combat and the other stuff is it's bad or bland, it's going to be a bad game. But if you have a game that basically mixes some genres, like it's a roguelike game, it's a card game, it's a turn-based game, it's also an overall game, resource management, you have more people, you have upgrade, RPG mechanics, equipment and all of that. The game becomes much better just because you have more things to think about and interact with. Otherwise, if this would have been just a card game, it would have been boring. Oh, I guess we can loot some things. Well, let me loot everything I need and then we'll be ready. As you can see, time goes by when you're walking or doing stuff. Coins, currency. Roger. water, shelter. Looking for a job. Yes, we need to feed Kitty. Buttons? But I thought the name of the cat was Ninja. Hmm. So the full name of the cat is Ninja Buttons? That's a cool name, I guess. IT, boring life. Yeah, make a delivery to the bazaar. Road in bazaar. Team yeah. rice recipe. 147 coins and only have 47. I guess we can sell stuff, but probably not worth selling anything since we don't know how that works now. What is that? Oh, it cures zombie infection. Well, that means we can get infected as well, rats. I don't like that. I guess those are just people wandering around the place. Yeah, that's I guess just to sell and buy stuff. Wishing tree? What do you mean a wishing tree? But where do you see those status effects? Hmm, over here. Oh, I guess we have more HP regeneration and sanity. Sure, that will probably heal us up to max. Junk box, well, <laughs> here they just give you a junk box, right? Why bother giving you junk items? They just give you a junk box. Face mask. That looks weird. Yeah, let me put this weird thing I found in a crate on my face. That it does not change the way a character looks, which I think is a big, big problem. Everything you equip on a character should change the way the character looks, even though it's just a simple mesh on the character. I five dollars. For food, bottle of cold beer. Coca Cola, delicious Coca Cola. I thought about the bottle of beer. 
Everything seems to be nice. I mean, the UI is kind of good. But I hope they improve the look of the game a little bit by making the, the items have a little more contrast, a little more true colors to them. It seems like kind of cartoonish right now. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but might be very, very bad in the long term. In the long term. Now, probably I should buy some fuel, but fuel seems to be expensive. Chocolate. Delicious chocolate. Oh, it also heals the character, I guess. We need more healing items either way. I assume the kitty doesn't need food, otherwise I would buy some eggs for the kitty. Quest. Jobs and contracts, jobs, hero, reputation, shine, okay. I assume these are all just locations I can go to. Also doesn't make it very clear where Where the bazaar is, that's a military helicopter from what I can see. Yeah, we'll fight. Oh, that's two zombies. Well, I should have retreated now that I look at it. I guess you only have defense for one turn. Enemy waves, so we'll have multiple enemy waves to attack us. Toughness. Oh, okay, so I guess that will not stay for a long time. I don't understand how the defensive cars work because it seems like they add a lot of defensive to you. A lot of defense to you. That looks like it's bad. Hell punch. This will be painful. I guess we'll lose all of our HP in this fight because they did a lot of damage. I like when the game is hard like this. Yeah, I think the game will get easier over time, but for now. Seems like... Here, oh, we have a mind cleanse. That's actually a healing combat. It's just... that's just a buff. What does wall do? Block is not removed. Oh, I can have a permanent wall, so I guess I need to get more wall cards. Well, there goes my defense. Yeah, I'm getting debuffed right now. Weak. Seems like you can get some really bad hands in this game. I mean, I seem to be getting last resort only when I don't have anything else to play. <laughs> zombies kind of strong. What? Well, does it have a name or anything? I guess they're just zombies with special abilities or something. And they should probably have names for the different units, because this is clearly a much stronger zombie than this one. Okay, let's use Mind Cleanse and Cover. I 
I would say combat is beyond deadly. Don't miss. Yeah, the only attack you... If we would have landed that attack, we would have won the fight without many other problems. But now, that's going to get more annoying. I'm not sure how you're supposed to deal with that guy now. But just missing our big attacks... And it seems like that should only do 10% of our attack damage, but it does almost full damage. Yeah, I think there are a lot of bugs in the combat so far. Just dealing a lot of damage. And you're not supposed to attack him while this part of the game. Hmm. You know what? I think we have seen enough anyway. Probably we'll have an auto save. Let's just see if we can find that other uh, location. Seems like this is driving super slow. Seems like the car bugged out or something, eh? Oh, it's working now. Oh, that's a, that's a limit on where we can go. Why do you have a limit of, on where we can go? It's because it's the demo, but still. Okay, let's do the fight again, and this time we'll play it safer. And also faster, because you apparently have to play the game super fast, otherwise you'll be stuck in combat for 10 minutes, and that's not fun. Okay, Hell Punch. Finally, we hit someone with the Hell Punch. Yeah, we'll just have to tank some damage, so we can deal more damage later. He <laughs> deleted. <laughs> Our Kung Fu abilities defeated that monster without any chance of attacking. Yeah, so definitely use your strongest attacks while it's not defending like that. Because it has that weird ability where for 3 turns it deal, it reflects 100% of the damage with 100% accuracy, which is weird to me. So yeah, actually we had to defeat the smaller zombie first. Hmm, combat is not bad. It's actually very well balanced around certain effects. And the bonuses you can get are actually amazing. But yeah, it's a bit RNG. I don't know what to say. As you saw, I missed all of... Most of my heavy attacks, and now I'm just hitting everything. So he did get a big punch on us. Mind cleanse. That, that seems like a meme. Especially the way the animation is made. What do you do now? I guess nothing. You wait. Probably, yeah, it's going to hurt me more than it hurts the enemy. Cucumbers, yes, yeah, zombie cucumbers. Daral. The loot is locked? Monsters, how can they lock my loot?
Yes, I have a package for you. Give me Mario and then I'll leave. Angel. I suppose you can only loot locations once. So can you unlock stuff? Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Why is it so hard for developers to simply put a tutorial or... Uh, what, what am I doing? I'm clicking, I'm pressing space, I'm... How do you lockpick in this game? Why is it so hard to simply make a mechanic that is intuitive? The ability level, the cubes and shit. No, oh, great, okay, okay, whatever, forget to. I, I am just so bored of trying to figure out what some developers are thinking in their brains that doesn't make any sense. Five drops. The map so, that looks different now, why? Because it's daytime? Why is this caravan going so slow? Is it because it's not really working as intended? Okay, so apparently will I be able to upgrade the caravan, the other things, the engines, the stuff? Okay, okay. That's for sleeping, that's for crafting. Ninja. A good boy. Ninjas. Or buttons. And another reason I like this game is because it reminds me of another game that had similar mechanics, more or less. What's the name called? Home Behind? Yeah, I think it was Home Behind 2. So if you don't know what Home Behind 2 is or Home Behind 1, it's somewhat similar to this, but it's 10 times better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's one of the best games ever made and not many people know about it, supply jobs. You know what? I don't care about that. I don't finish the quest. And the full release is... Well, the full release, the release of the early access is done. I'll play a lot more of it. Medicine. Oh, those are radios. They are hot dogs. Hot dogs and chickens. I really would have loved to do the log picking, but what? What gives? I'm, I'm like a monkey pressing all of the buttons on the keyboard and nothing works. I guess some developers just don't have a sense of how to do basic things because they're so disconnected. Do reality? I don't know. I don't know. It's just weird to me that you have a simple lock picking mechanic and I cannot figure out how to interact with that. And when I look at the other settings, it doesn't tell me anything. I mean, you have, you have, you have shared abilities, which is lock picking. For cubes requiring lock picking, match the ability level with the cubes and ensure you have the lock pick. What kind of an explanation is that to how to do lock picking when you only have beyond my understanding as a human?
Okay, that will only make me more angry. That's a door, by the way. Nice mechanics. Very cinematographical and very cool over there. I guess we should get a hard hat. So what's the difference between a hard hat and the mask? I guess there's no difference except this one has five defense and this one what? So you you are getting more defense with a worse item just because it has a better uh, quality or rarity. Oh well, I hope they fix most of this stuff when the <laughs> when the early access is released. I'll buy this one, so I just want to see where I can equip it. Oh, hunting and fishing equipment. Oh, okay, so we probably have more... We can have some interactions on the overall map. I guess you can also do trading, but that's kind of boring to me. Looks like someone got the airdrop. Yeah, let's get that airdrop and I'll end the video. I guess you'll travel much faster on the road, and this is off-road, and off-road your speed is terrible. Or did we run out of fuel? Really? There's no indication that you run out of fuel. I guess the wall map will be... I don't think the wall map will become bigger. I think this is the scope of the game, at least so far. Or at least in this early access version. Yeah, so I guess you're pushing the caravan. So they can attack you even if you're quite far away. Probably they can attack you from two tiles away or something. Okay, so probably all of that dialogue is just to say get away. Hello. Hmm, I'll have to save the dog as well, in the full release. Hmm, okay. So, it, it will be a very very interesting game and I like all of the things they showed me. I just got a little bit angry about that Lucky in game because it doesn't have any interactable things in it and apparently anyway. Probably it will be a good early access game and I'll play it. Bye bye.